10.30 a.m. and the alarm buzzes quietly, deep in the hull of a super yacht moored off a Caribbean island. Drinking in the morning sun. With the guests still asleep after a late night's party. Taking off the heavy wall. Chef Antoine boards a tender and slips away to the local market for more crew provisions for the trip. Been up really early. He's going to go over to the local supermarket here in Lightfoot Quay and um, start picking up some stuff for the upcoming guest trip. Yeah, I'm tired and grumpy as all chefs are in the morning, so I will not speak very much. Just run around like a lunatic and grab everything I can and try not to hit anyone on the way over because I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Another sunrise on the other side of the world sees Chef Daniel Verone leave the yacht in half and begin scouring Nice Market for fresh produce for his guests. Looking like a beautiful day. In France, uh, to me, it's always been uh, just a beautiful art. You know, we make them scratch though, because we leave them on the boat. Good morning. Good morning. Our guests uh, call last night, they're coming, it's a delay, they're going to come in a week. But uh, we still have to get ready. All the chanterelles, yeah, all the porcinis, the famous butcher right here. He always has uh, real artistic uh, windows. You have to know what to do with a, a fresh piece of fish, you know, a fresh vegetable, you know, and how to handle it with respect and, and simplicity and, you know, make it taste good. And most of the things you find, like in Italian culture, just uh, good products, you know. Taking the time to get up a little bit earlier, you know, getting some fresh products. Like all chefs in the soup yard industry, they have a long, grueling day ahead of them, preparing and cooking dishes of the highest caliber for the palates of the world's rich and famous. Voila.